In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving simultaneous equation with the Casio FS Dana One ES class with calculator or Casio FS Five Seventy ES class with calculator. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving simultaneous equation with the Casio FS Dana One ES class with calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So, guys, ensure you stay with me till the end of this video okay so before we bring the castle calculator as you can see i have three questions here to solve with you guys i have some else equation involving two variables question two involves three variables and question three involves four variables so guys i'm going to show you how you can solve each and every one of them with the castle calculator share you stick with me to the very last question in this video okay let's bring the castle calculator now all right so guys this is the class risk calculator this is casio fs and i want es class risk calculator or you can call it casio fs 570 class risk calculator okay so this is it and very very first you have to do is to clear the essence of clear is to put your calculator in default mode very, very important guys because if i don't remember whether you have stored the previous value in this calculator to be at the safe side you are advised to put it in default mode guys so put in default mode for those of you that don't know how to do it you simply press shift button 9 for the instruction initialize or press option 3 then equal to then equal to again so it's not in default mode so right now the next thing you have to do is to choose a mode that will enable you solve this kind of problem this is simultaneous equation so that, that means we're going to look for equation mode so go to this menu press menu to check the mode that will help you solve this problem so i will show you the mode you use look at the equations to function that's the mode they're going to use so is which category are a a category so look at a press this a and to enter equations to function mode so it will once you click press it it will bring it to this very place and then it will ask you to choose the kind of equation you want to solve is this a simultaneous equation or polynomial so guys we want to solve simultaneous equation now then we are going to choose option one very, very simple guys so once you choose option y to bring it to this very place when you get here now it says simultaneous equation number unknown select two to four so guys what this thing means is that if you select two, that means you are solving simultaneous equation that involves two variables. If you select three, that means you are solving the one that involves three variables, just like this question two. If you select four, you are solving the one that involves four variables, just like this question three, guys, as simple as that. So since you want to solve question one, and question one involves how many variables two, so that means look, we are going to select two here. Yeah, very simple, guys. So once you do it, it will bring you to this very place. Then, then you impute the various coefficients of each variables in this question one we want to solve so what's the coefficient of 2x here so it's 2 press 2 press equal to then coefficient of 3y here guys what is 3 as simple as that guys then the constant here is what 13 all right let's impute the next variable coefficient of 3x here is what 3 okay coefficient of 4 y is was 4 and the constant there is was 17. it's as simple as that guys so briefly coefficient simply refers to a number behind a variable or an unknown for those of you that don't know what coefficient means in mathematics it's simply a number behind a variable or an unknown just like i have outlined them here or brought them out here for example coefficient of 2x is what 2 Coefficient of 3x is what 3 because these are numbers behind the variable x. It's as simple as that, guys. So let's now press the quote and get our answer for this continuous equation because we are going to have two results, two answers. We are going to have the value for x and what the value for what y. It's as simple as that, guys. Let's press the quote now to get our results. So we have when x is what minus 1, what will be y? y is what 5. So, guys. This is for question one. So let's move solve question two. Very simple. Now to solve question two, 
we have to clear the calculator and go back to equation mode since we're no longer going to solve for two variables we want to solve for three variables now so you simple clear guys very important shift this when instruction very, very simple so go back to menu i think it was a yeah a equation mode simultaneous equation one then the variable now this time around is three okay so all the coefficient of 2x here is 2 press to press equal to coefficient of y there is what 1 guys is 1 because this y has 1 as this coefficient but is invincible so the coefficient of y there is what 1 the coefficient of z z is also 1 the coefficient of z there is what 1 but is invincible 1 is behind z1 times z is still giving z1 times y still be y that's why it's one guys okay so here the constant is what it's as simple as that guys okay so for this one coefficient of 5x here is what 5 coefficient of minus 3y here is what minus 3 guys not 3 is minus 3 always indicate the sign minus 3 okay so coefficient of 2z here is what 2 guys very simple then the constant is 3 okay let's go to the last one last column sorry rule last rule <laughs> so coefficient of 7x here is what 7 okay coefficient of y here is what 1 yeah coefficient of y here is what 1 the coefficient of 3z here is what 3 the constant here is what 20 very simple guys okay so right now let's press record to engage our results our values so when x is 2 what will be our y our y is what 3 then what will be our z z is what 1 it's as simple as that guys so lastly before we call this video a class let's look at question trade the one that involves four variables very, very simple guys so as usual we're going to clear the calculator now. Put the instruction. Okay, so let's go back to equation mode. That's press A. So it's materials equation one. This is my one for four variables. Press four. Okay, let's begin with the first rule. Dear, the equation of two x here is what two. Very simple, guys. Equation of two y here is what two. Copy minus z is what minus one. Very very simple guys. Coefficient of t there is what one. Then the constant is what four. All right. So the next rule there is what coefficient of four x there is what four. Okay. Coefficient of three y there is what three. Coefficient of minus z there is what minus one. Okay, coefficient of 2 t is there, there is what 2. Very, very simple. Then the constant there is what 6. Okay, so what of the next rule, the third rule? Coefficient of 8x there is what 8. Coefficient of 5y there is what 5. Coefficient of minus 3z there is what minus 3. Okay, coefficient of 4 c there is what 4 and the constant there is what 12 and lastly the last rule here coefficient of 3x there is what 3 coefficient of 3y there is what 3 coefficient of minus 2z there is what minus 2 okay coefficient of 2t there is what 2 and lastly the constant there is what 6 okay so guys we are good to go let's not press report and get our answer or our results for this computation when x is one what will be our y press records again y is still one so what will be our z z is minus one and what will be our t t is still minus one so guys this is basically how you can solve problems involving simultaneous equation with the Casio calculator. 
Casio FS Another one Class with calculator So I hope you learned something very interesting If you are new to our channel And you are not yet subscribed Make sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel For more of our videos also like, share And comment on this video to tell me how you feel Regarding what you have learned in this class If you seem to have any specific question to ask Feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. So that's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click a calculator once you're done. Press Shift button 9 for the instruction. Okay, so you're good to go. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching once more.